right? Not really hard to see where the gesture is. I wanna kinda of go through that middle finger. If anytime you can see the middle finger, use it to your advantage because it is kind of like the center point for that hand, okay? Make sense so far? All right. I'm gonna grab blue. Once I have that shape down, I like to always uh, start by drawing the palm. Uh, not the palm, the forearm. Sorry. All right. And I always want to remember that everything that I'm going to draw has a tapering relationship to it. Right. So the forearm is going to start wide. Ah, I was drawing on the wrong layer. It's okay. The forearm is going to start wide and end small. Actually, I don't want all those lines on the photo. Sorry, I got to do this really quick. If it's on the photo, then that screws everything up. So really quick, boom, boom. All right, there we go. Uh, gesture and then forms. Oh, I'm gonna use purple. Okay. All right, now I can make this photo a little bit lighter. There we go. Can you guys see that? Yes. Is it too light? All right, it's much darker on my screen. As long as you can see it, that's fine. Okay. All right, when I draw the hand, I like to kind of imagine that there is a line that crosses right here. Why do I want to imagine that there's a line that crosses right there? Yeah, what bones? Carpal bones, okay? As soon as I see that carpal bone separation, I know that the angle of the palm is going to change. It's very rarely ever gonna come out as a straight line. And I wanna draw through that angle. So I will come up and make sure that I'm drawing a straight line. Can you see the back of the palm? Yes. I will come up and I will not care about the thumb. Why? It is separate, it is opposable, right? And I wanna draw through those big shapes, okay? And I will imagine that they stop. I don't always draw this line through them, okay? But I'm just kinda of like making a point right here. I want to come through and I want to draw through my fingers. So I'm going to start with straight lines. Why? Bone. Yes, bone. Okay, straight line. And then I want to connect my fingers. Remember, I'm kind of like imagining that all the fingers are connected in space. So I want to connect my fingers. I'm going to come down and draw through that C curve. Okay. And if the thumb happens to fall into that silhouette shape, keep it. Okay, make it easier for yourself. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. I have a bone, all right? I'm gonna come through that bone, and you're gonna see three planes. Why am I drawing through those three planes? One, two, three bones, okay? I'm gonna connect the fingers, and they should be like a C curve. I wanna come to the end of the fingers, and if you want to get sophisticated, you can. You can draw through your uh, thumb, and I'm going to draw through that C curve of my thumb. Okay, so the first thing that I should be starting with should be silhouette shapes. Oops. Okay. And one of the things I want to point out is if I look at the reference of these shapes, right, if I start to like measure this in relationship to this. Look how they're almost the same size, okay? The fingers are foreshortened and the palm is also foreshortened, right? So if I look at these fingers, right? The fingers are almost the same size as the palm. There is a little bit more bending here, so you're gonna see a little bit more of a foreshortening, but they should be pretty similar. All right, I have my fingers in place. I have my silhouette shapes in place. If I'm going too fast, let me know. Are you guys keeping up? Are you everyone okay? Okay. I can do one of two things. I can take my simple shapes and I can begin to try and like separate out my fingers. Okay. And I can be like, well, there's a finger, there's a finger, there's a finger, which is fine. All right. But for me and for the sake of the demo, I'm going to make it a little bit more specific. I want to ask myself, 
the perspective question. Where is the perspective on these hands so I can understand where the fingers will start, okay? In order to do that, you have to go all the way back down to the wrist. That's why I was zooming in, all right? So my wrist is a little bit tricky in this view because it isn't easy to see. But if I look at my palm, you're gonna see this little separation right here, a little bump, a little bump, and then you're gonna see that it's showing the front of my thumb, all right? You don't need to draw that, but what I'm gonna show you is why I'm drawing this. So what I wanna do, go back, go back, is make sure that I'm drawing through my wrist and I'm creating a little two by four. Okay, so that is gonna tell the viewer, hey, that's the bottom of my wrist. Here, I'm barely seeing anything. Like It's very, very shallow. So my little two by four is very shallow. So really, your uh, wrist in that view is going to be pretty flat, okay? I would actually say that you're not even seeing the bottom of that wrist, so I wouldn't even put it in. Which makes it that much harder, because now I have to use the carpals, uh, the metacarpals as a guide. So I'm going to draw through my metacarpals as my guide. I'm going to come down. And I'm just gonna draw through my palm. So in this view, we end up with hands that look almost the exact same as the hands that we started with. But what I'm doing is I'm at least getting to the point where I can emphasize where the, the fingers start from, which is important, okay? So sometimes you're gonna end up with the exact same shape. All I did was cut out the little triangle, okay? I'm gonna start, I thought somebody was saying something. I'm gonna start right here. Here's the inside of that palm. And you're gonna see it's gonna taper, right? Taper, 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 taper. All right. And then there are, that big bone is right there. Actually, this is a tricky one. Why do I always pick the hardest ones to start? Like, why can't I just pick a retarded, simple hand? Sorry, I didn't mean to say the R word, I apologize. gonna get fired. Uh, somebody's gonna get offended. Uh, let's just start right here. So I'm gonna take the metacarpals and I got to draw out the outside of the metacarpals with my perspective and I'm gonna drop that line a little bit. And I'm gonna like redraw this. And it is gonna do this. It's gonna like do this weird tapering thing. So we are drawing uh, we are going to draw the thumb, yeah. What? I'm showing you. <laughs> this is a wrist that is showing you the, the top, the side, and the bottom. Is it It's just, it, yeah. That's, isn't it like really, why can't you draw without it first to make it simpler? I could, the thumb? yeah. So let's just do that. Let's just simplify it. So, yeah. Doesn't the top wrap around? Yeah. You want me to do this? Do you want to do it? Yeah. <laughs> you can do the next one, don't worry. Uh, honestly, I would just keep it simple. With a hand this complicated, uh, with that twist, I would just draw through the wrist like this. Okay. I would just keep it simple. Okay. Yeah. I'm just, uh, I'm brainstorming in my brain, like how I would want to draw this for you guys. And I think simple is probably the easiest thing to do. It goes up, goes down. It has to go this way and it has to come around. It can't go this way because we're not seeing the inside of it. I'm looking at the perspective while I'm drawing this. I'm just thinking. Uh, if I was to draw through the palm and just ignore the hand, yeah, no matter what I do, it's got to it's gotta do this. So, yeah. Huh? Yeah, so I'm just going to leave it like this. Okay. I have no other options. It looks weird. Yeah. Does everyone understand why I'm, like, struggling? 
I'm seeing the bottom of the palm right here. I'm also seeing the side of these fingers, right? So I have to run along the axis of that side. But the fingers go whoop, really, really quick. They rotate. So just to be clear, like... When did that line start at the bottom of the finger? What's your question? The thumb is in the way. If you ignore the thumb, isn't it like the palm just three slices like the two by four? It's like slice. Like those lines stay parallel? I think the fact that you don't see a lot of the top has to do with like the hands behind you. Okay, so I will draw it like this so you guys can see. You're saying like this, yeah. right? Yeah. You're saying like that would be the palm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, the only problem is if I flip it back, mm -hmm. do you see the wrist? The wrist is not in that perspective. Can't you just drop it now? You could. Not the wrist, the, the No, I'm just drawing it through. I want to see like if it would look right. I mean, I could kind of fake the funk a little bit. You could fake it like that. Sure. It's not accurate, but you can draw like that. Do I want to draw like that if it's not accurate? Because it will kind of like solve the problem. <laughs> We're going to spend way too much time on this as I'm trying to problem solve. Uh, let's, not, let's not dwell. Uh, but yeah, so let, let's draw it like this, just to kind of make it easy for you guys. <laughs> yeah, let's not draw that. Let's keep it easy. Yeah, let's just let's draw this hand just as a basic shape, okay? I'm going to make this one easy cuz if we try to, it's going to be way too complicated. And sometimes like it's just not worth it. So I'm just going to draw this and draw this and not worry about the 2 by 4 In reality, this is how I would draw it anyway, like if I was drawing from life, okay? When I draw the two by four, I'm trying to show you guys how to see through perspective. The perspective in this hand, because of the twist, is too complex. Okay. It's just gonna make it worse. And sometimes this is a case where it's like, it's not gonna be beneficial to anybody to draw a complicated form. So let's keep it simple. All right, going back through the hands, uh, I will come in. All right, and I will actually start with the thumb. Okay, why would I start with the thumb in this view? Closest to you, right? It is like right in your face. Okay. And I want to go from right where that knuckle is, draw right through that finger, and then imagine kind of what's happening with the meat, okay? I would not necessarily draw it like all the way through, but I'm going to draw it all the way through right now, okay? This is a rough start. What's going on? <laughs> okay, I'll separate out the hands, okay? I'm going to draw straights. Curves, 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 and come all the way through, okay? So same thing here, curves, 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 come all the way through, okay? Sorry, I should have drawn the thumb first. Always, when I see the thumb, I draw through this first uh, phalanx, or phalange, and then come in, and then draw through the rest of it, okay? And then you have to draw this linking line, because that is the pinch of that anatomy, okay? Otherwise, it's not going to show correctly. It's going to look kind of funny. Wow, these hands are like a pain in the ass. Anytime I draw the thumb, one of the things that you want to get used to is the silhouette shape where you kind of like draw through the hard side, come through the curve of the outside, and then it kind of like comes out. So the structure of the thumb looks a little bit like this. Okay. 
just in that view, I'm trying to draw it off to the side so you can see what I'm drawing as bones, right? Okay. So it's really important to have this tapering shape at the bottom of the thumb, or else it's gonna to feel too bulbous, all right? So always that curve on the outside should come in and it's like a hard straight on the inside, okay? All right, I'm gonna make this stuff a little bit more invisible. So I can see. Okay, and the last piece of the puzzle is to just draw it <laughs> with all this mess. Uh, let's keep these simple. I'm just gonna leave these like this. I'm not even gonna worry about it, okay? Let's do another one. Okay. So that's just blocking in proportions and everything like that, okay? That's what I wanna see for these hands. All right, moving on. Let's do one that's, uh, actually these are a little bit more complex, but they'll help you understand the forms a little bit better. Do you guys want to do like a really complex hand or do you want to keep them simple? Let's do complex, all right. <laughs> this is gonna be torture, all right. Come on. All right. First thing I want to start with is the gesture. This is a tricky one, okay? If I see like a hand like this, I'm just gonna go through the drawing and stop, okay? I want to draw the rest of the finger separately. So what I want to look for is this bone right here, and if I can see it, that little indentation right there where the finger is slightly overlapping and leaves me space, okay? What line am I making? So you start before, before you do the, the, the forearm, you just go straight in? Straight in, okay. right? I'm drawing the gesture. I'm drawing the metacarpal line, okay? I can come in from this point and I can say, okay, well, that's a gesture, that's a gesture, Look at how I'm coming back to the metacarpals. That's a gesture, right? And that's a gesture. Well, am I gonna really, in re uh, realistic terms, draw that many gesture lines when I'm drawing the hand? No, okay? But I do want you to see how they all have to come back to this source of the metacarpals, okay? Super important. Okay? So that is a very, very complicated series of gesture lines. So what I would do is have that one major gesture line and then I'll start drawing the shapes, okay? First shape is that tapering. Let's use light colors because it's on black. So that tapering shape of the hand. Can you guys see that orange up there? Uh, what can I use? Is that pink easier? There we go. There we go. Okay. That's hard to see too. What color will work? There we go. Let's do that. Okay, there's that purple. There's that purple. Okay. All right, I wanna draw right through the wrist. Make sure I break it down. I'm gonna come back, draw right through the carpals, uh, metacarpals. I'm gonna connect them and make my cube, okay? You'll notice I don't just draw the shape. I actually try to find where the source of it is, where it ends, okay? Uh, I wanna come in, draw through the fingers, and I don't care about the fingers individually. I care about them as a silhouette. So I go from knuckle to knuckle to knuckle, and I'm gonna draw through my fingers. There's that silhouette shape. On this side, you have to draw the thumb. It is an important landmark in this shape of the finger, OK? 
uh, uh, of the hand. Because there's an overlap here, I'm not going to draw like more lines because if I do, it's just going to get messy. Okay. So that is what I want to start with. So if I was to identify that shape, I'm going to do this another layer. I want to break it apart. All right, this is a silhouette shape. All, right, all the way through the palm. Okay, and then the fingers are their own silhouette shape. So I want to kind of imagine them as two individual shapes. Does that make sense to everyone? Okay. All right, so I have that group. I'm going to turn that off, make this really light. Okay, so what do we need to do next? No. Perspective. Okay. Am I seeing a side of the wrist? Yes, I'm seeing this side right here. It's very shallow, but you're seeing it. Okay. So I want to block this out with a little bit more clarity. Okay. I'm going to come in and say, hey, Palm, I'm seeing you as well. All right. Now, I know if you're drawing in reality, in real life, you're not always gonna draw these perspective shapes, but we're gonna draw them just to like drill into our brains how perspective works, okay? So there's my palm, all right? There's a separation of my palm. I always wanna make sure I'm like, I'm indicating where that separation is gonna be, especially when it's the interior of the palm, okay? So Casey, now what do I do? Huh? Now what am I going to do, Casey? Now we're going to do the fingers. Okay. So let me make the hand a little bit clearer. Okay. I'm going to make this guy invisible, just so it's not in the way. And I'll make the fingers light green. There we go. So now I'm going to come into my shapes. I'm going to start with the finger that's closest to me and most dominant, which is this pinky. I'm going to come in and I'm going to start with the hard edges. Is, right? Isn't that better to start from this part? You want to start from the bottom? From the bottom. Can you sure. Somewhere? I like starting from the top just for okay. me, but you could start from the bottom. All right? And I want to make sure that I taper it. Okay, and then, this is the tricky part, I'm gonna draw through the circumference of the finger. Okay, can you see that line that I just drew? It's light on light, so it's a little bit funky. All right, I'm gonna come again, and we'll do it Yavuz's way. I'm gonna draw through the bottom, and then I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna draw a straight line. Okay, draw through the curve, Okay. And right here, curve, straight, straight, right. curve, straight, straight. And you can see why this line right here is so important, right? If I didn't have it there, if I'm not drawing on top of a photo, it kind of helps me keep all my fingers lined up for where they are. And then I'm using these points in space for where I drew the fingers earlier as a way to kind of mark off, demarcate, right, uh, where the bones are, okay? Thumb is gonna be straight on the outside, straight on the outside, curve, all right? I like to come around the front, 
and it's just a big curve, big curve, and there's my separation. Okay, so we'll stop right there for these hands today, and then next week I'll show you guys how to break down planes. Okay. And on Wednesday we will have a model. So we'll be doing this from the model, okay? No cylinders yet. I don't want you to get into that stuff. I just want you to understand how to like break down silhouette shapes. Okay? So that is how it should look. Does that make sense to everybody? Okay. All right, I'm going to throw up some hands and you guys can come up and draw for me. You still want to record this? <laughs> uh, let's do... This is a good one. Let's do this one. Boop. All right, who wants to come do the hand that's gripping the ball? Anybody? Right, I'm gonna keep it on one layer for you guys. And you get to use blue. <laughs> David, you want to come up? Uh, okay. Give it a go. Okay. So, what do you want me to do? Just... Show me the steps, my friend. Okay. Okay. Yeah, if you want. <clears throat> this is fine. Okay. Right here is good. Okay. All right, as you're doing right. What's your first step? Okay, let's put the lower down. Okay, is, what kind of pencil is Same pencil. Okay, so we want to get the gesture first in, right? Yeah. Get there. What do you guys think? Is that the right gesture? Just kind of. No. <laughs> it's going to curve through in there. Help your fellow students. You guys should be drawing along. And then after we get the gesture right, we want to, like, okay, get this basic silhouette shape of the hand, right? Mm -hmm. So. Are we starting with the hand or the forearm? Oh, no, the forearm area. So we want to, like... Why do we start with the forearms, people? Of course. Okay. So we want to block that in. And then think about getting that there. Okay. Where do you want to draw from the palm? The palm? Which two bones? Uh, the metacarpal. The metacarpal. Down to the metacarpals. All right? So we're always going from, like, one joint to the next joint. So like, okay, no, sorry, my brain just kind of farted for a second. That's all good. So I would kind of just then think about, like, you, we did the gesture. We block in, like, kind of where the, the wrist darts and everything. And then I remember you did this, like, line earlier with the, the metacarpal line yes, or something. So why would you want to do that line in this drawing, uh, this photo? Can anyone tell me? Like, these, like, knuckles right here? You don't have to answer yeah. Why are we drawing some metacarpals here? What's happening with the fingers? They're surrounding me. So what's happening with them? Describe it to me. The arch is curving. The arch is curving because they're being pushed. So you want to stop your drawing right there and create like an arc. I would draw around the circle, not across uh, it. Okay. okay. So I can. You good. Let me yeah, just go backwards. Go back. So instead of going like that, you'd want, you would want it like, oh, whoops, more like curved like that. Yes, sir. Yeah, because, because it's going around the form of that sphere. Yeah. Good. All right. Should you be drawing through the knuckles of the fingers or through the metacarpals? Yes. Yeah, so how far should that line be? A little higher, right? Oh, a little higher? Yeah. Okay. No, this is what I want you guys to do, so you understand. You see me do it, and I just do like the first time right, except for that first one. So like, see. like right around there, <laughs> little. The first one's miserable. Is that okay? Yeah, that's okay. right. Okay. Now what are you gonna do? Um, if I were you in this view, I would actually do something different that we didn't do in the other views. I would draw the gesture lines through each of those fingers. Why? Draw the gesture lines through each of the finger. Okay. Why? Because they're spread out. They're not connected. They're not grouped. So it's going to help you if you have like a little bit of a line kind of showing you how long they should be. And how do you compare sizes here? That front finger should be about as long as the palm, right? 
My thumb is going to be shorter always, but if my front finger is about as long as my palm, then I know that I'm in the right direction drawing. Um, right. What do you do next? I'll give you a hint. Shapes. Oh, block in the kind of the silhouette shape of the hand then? So then, and you always like to use those straight lines, I notice. You don't have to do what I do. Okay. Yeah, you want to block in simple shapes. So how do you block in those two shapes? I just told you the answer. <laughs> I would block in two shapes, right? Should you connect those two fingers on the edge of the ball? It would make it easier. Yeah. Right? So kind following of following the same circumference, right? Because the bones are all connected. And then you draw that exactly the second shape for the thumb. And then what I would do is look at the space between the finger Oops. and the thumb and make sure that they're curving so that they feel like they're actually holding a ball, all right? Because if you don't, they might feel flat. They might feel like they're actually pointing. So you want them to feel like they're curving. So what David did, that curve around that finger on the inside is really important. Okay, this and then the only thing you gotta do from that point is do what? Separate mm. the space between the two fingers and you're done. Okay. Separate the space between the two fingers. Yeah. Okay. This negative shape right here. Yes, and you have to look for two things. One side straight, one side curved, especially in this image. Why? One side straight, one side curved. Mm -hmm. Because these straights are like the bony things like you were talking about. Sure, and then the these things. finger these fingers are the soft grippy parts that are grasping the ball. Yeah, so and if you want to really emphasize the fact that it's holding a ball, that curve is really important. Yeah, because now that if we look closely, we can see that it's got that like nice those like indents, like it's even indenting right there yes. with the ball. Good. Okay, cool. All right, next. Nice. Wow. Oh, okay, so next person. You want to sit? <laughs> All right, Do you right. see I wash my hands and everything? <laughs> oh, is that what you were doing? You were prepping like a dog? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, you should see, see my here. iPad. It's Charcoal all over it, yeah. Dude, do you have the screen thing? Like What's the drawing it? screen? No, no, no. Okay, yeah, I, I want that. So there's things that the paper wants, paper like. Can we focus? Right. Pick a hand. Okay, for the record, it actually looks way better on here. Yeah. So it doesn't look like that. Do you know how to. Okay. What? Do you know how to maneuver around the screens? Okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, what color? It does Come on. Matter. It doesn't matter. Let's just, just we're having fun. Okay. Make sure you're on the right. Yeah. Okay. And so. You're changing the opacity. You're not going to see the brush, but go ahead. Really? It's t pressure sensitive. Yes. Oh. You can barely see it. There you go. Okay. So this is what I would do. Yeah, so you're doing that one? Can you move it up the screen so everyone can see? Oh, sorry. There you go. Right? Okay. He's going sideways though. Yeah, the pressure sensitive is great. Um, is it like, do you want me to draw it how you would draw it? I want you to tell everyone how you would draw it. Okay, yeah, so I, I, I really want to start from this guy over here. Because if I start from over here, I, I just think it's going to be a huge problem where everything's going to be not aligned. So. should be drawing it together with you, Louis. Yeah. So the gesture, whatever, and then I want to start with the bottom because it's a bit straighter and more, there's more structure right there. Boom. And then I, I want to, I want to include that. What is it? Breako radi radialis? Break radialis. Yeah, yeah. tell them. Uh, my brush has like a straightening thing, mm -hmm. which is really cool. So I don't know. Just hold it. No, not like that. It's just more like when you do that, it's way more straight. I know, I know, but it's just structured. Okay, we got that plane, and then we have the plane of the burr. Yeah, I like that straight line. Why'd you choose a straight line? Because it's the top part where the bones are way more, you can see the bones rather, muscle. And then I'm gonna go this way, also straight, and then another plane. Okay. Maybe that's a bit too specific, but. And then we have the side plane. So you skipped a bone. Why did you skip a bone? Because we're just grouping. Okay. So it's way simpler. I know there's like a divot right here, or like a larger thing. I'll go with it. That works. Yeah, and then um, I'll go this way. Boom. It's really thick, and it's straight. It shouldn't be straight, but for for now, we're going to do it that way, and then... So I wouldn't go that way. 
Okay, you're right. Go that high. Why? What do you mean? High? Yeah, you moved the line too high. It should probably hit that bone right there. I was going to do, like, planes like this, like this plane, and then, mm -hmm. like, the, the fingers are different. I was going to do, do that, actually. It's easier to group the bigger shapes first, so the bigger shape goes down to the pinky. Okay. So I'm going to draw from the metacarpal, and then go all the way down to the pinky. Wait, you didn't finish? I know, Can't I know. Do that yet? No? Can I not do it like that? No, you're skipping. There you go. I'm just no. doing planes right now. No, you're skipping. Got to go down. That line should go right there. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. There you go. You want this? Yes. Really? Okay. Yes. Okay. And then this is the side plane. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to, like, lower the opacity so I can start drawing again. Okay, this is what I would start off with. And then... Does it change? Draw the lines. You want to move the photo? The photo's the other way. Oh, okay. Sorry. No, I wanted the, the lines to be yeah, low so, big so I could draw way. it. And boom. There you go. Just draw right on top. Change the color. Okay. And darker. There you go. Can I, can I, like, the opacity of the lines, I need to make it less. All right, not enough. <laughs> cool. Mm. All right. No, I mean, there's no separation to be made, so I just, I would just... Separation to be made between what? The fingers, because you could do this. Yeah, there is a separation. But is that the first thing that you do? What's the first thing that you should do? I mean, I would do the forearm more, like, specific. Mm -hmm. So go to, go to the forearm and finalize it. Okay. Because now you're shifting into the hands, but you don't have, like, a finished yeah. forearm. So, and I want to make it a little bit more curved to get that essence right there. I exaggerated that, and then I'm making it more straight for the structure. And then right here, there's another structure. Um, and then I want to get that plane, just to reiterate. It's really bold, but... Okay, and then there's a bit... I don't know if I want to include this portion, make it like uh, kind of curved. Doesn't matter. I'll do it. Yeah, and then just reiterate that again. I, there's like this bend going on. I don't know the, the terms, but I really want to get that. Yeah, that's what I would do. Maybe it's too high. That's fine. Okay, and then. Don't zoom in and out. Oh, yeah, that's what Ed said. Another straight right here, and then it kind of... Nah, we'll just do it straight. Cool. Boom. And the knuckles. Is this, like... So I personally okay? would come in, because you're jumping the gun. You got to ask yourself if the hand is coming from there, right? Where does this axis point bend? Okay. Yeah, you're right. right. And then you want to like establish just the palm. Right. How are you drawing so light though? I'm a sensitive man. Right. So make sure I'm you just have the palm established. And then what, what you can do is build on top of the palm the fingers. Yeah. Okay. Would like would would you like an arc over sure. here like? You can do that. Yeah. The arc mm -hmm. is going to be harder to see where those knuckles connect to. Okay. But the arc is more accurate in terms of bony anatomy. So it just depends on what you want. Good. I was wondering if you were going to use straight lines. Why would you want to use straight lines? Because it's bones, right? Yes. Okay. Yep. That was more of like a really bro kind of. Actually, I'll do like a, I'll do like one of those. There you go. Why the fat? I mean, why the Because that, <laughs> you see that, that chunk over here? Yes. And then, but it, then it's a bone immediately. Mm -hmm. um, and then you got to put the interception, intersection of the finger. The pinky is very important. Oh, I can't see it that well. Do you want me to draw it for you? No. Okay. I 
would use a lighter line because you can't see it on top of the black. Okay. Like a lighter color or lighter? Yeah. Okay. Another curved line, and then we're gonna do Thank you. Wait. All right, you're good. Don't worry. Don't worry. You're fine. All right, I'm going to make some corrections just so you guys can see. Oh, my God. <laughs> we have to be really specific with knuckles, okay, when they're in a grip like that. Okay, so if those are the knuckles that I'm using to see those knuckles, I'm actually going to lose my planes, okay? It's something that I see a lot happen with students, and I'm not throwing you under the bus, if it was, you didn't know. Uh, so what I want to pay attention to is how would I delineate these knuckles, right? Knuckles actually are going to have three planes. They're going to have the top, they're going to have the front, and they're going to have the side, okay? Why? Yeah, right? Okay, otherwise it's going to look really flat. So you don't just want to do this, okay? See the difference when you see them side by side? You want to see what I'm doing? This is very important, okay? So I'm always looking for those two planes that establish the front. They're right here. All right, and then it's going to come down, right? So two planes, and then it's going to come down, okay? But this overlapping that Yavuz was doing is, like, super crucial. It's a very smart move, observation, but you want to make sure that you have both those planes in there. Can you okay. do the, the pinky again? Yeah, the way that I would do the pinky is the pinky comes up. It's a little bit of a blurry image. Oh, and you would do like a, like a curved elbow. Remember we were talking about overlapping lines? Yeah. So it has to have that overlapping line. But I liked your fat pad. Right. <laughs> and the one thing that you'll see when a finger bends is it actually, yeah, the curve right. goes around like this. It's like a slinky effect, so it is super important. And then you want to carry this theme of the curve into the finger. So this finger should be curving like this. That finger, just in really simple forms. And then it kind of like wraps I remember around. like what you did earlier, with the, it was a straight and then it went to a curve. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Side I'm just overemphasizing it. Like yeah. So, you're talking about this. Yeah, and then, boom, down. Mm -hmm. That would be how I would draw it in, okay? There's a ton of different ways to draw it in, but it is really important to kind of pay attention to how those curves shift, right? All right. Sirsha, you have a costume. You want to come up and do this? Thank you. You have a costume. <laughs> what about us? You say no thank you? No. Come on. Come on. I don't care. You're going to come up and do this. <laughs> uh, let's have you do this one. There you go. Thank you. I don't even know what time it is. It's like my eye hurts. I'm not going to I'm too nervous. Oh. Right. So tell everyone what you want to start with. My gesture line. All right, make sure you're on a layer. That is oh, okay. Layer. This is my... Gesture should start from where? Forearm to finger. Oh my God. <laughs> this is why I didn't want to do this. You're doing great. You got it. There you go. There you go. Is that good enough? Yeah. Okay. Okay, now what's next? Arm. I'm too nervous. Nobody cares. I'm too nervous. Arm to arm, good. Okay. I would uh, draw this guy, yes. and then I would draw like, this guy right here. Beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Yay! That's nice. perfect. Okay. That's a beautiful shape. I would probably simplify the form a little bit early in the drawing, but I think okay. Um, and now. Group your fingers. 
Find the biggest group first is usually the easiest way to go. Okay. So what's the biggest group? Oh, whoops, never mind. The three, yeah. Like this. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. And then I draw this guy. Okay. So I don't know that I would draw the thumb that complicated from the very first go. Okay. Because if it's in the wrong spot, it's easy to do in a photo. Right? Yeah, of but course. if it's in the wrong spot, it's going to be hard to find those planes. So I would just apply yeah. it to like a curve, but that's fine. Okay. And then when you're drawing it in real life, this is for everybody, you want to pay attention to where the thumb is in relationship to where it is with the fingers, right? I would kind of like use a line to kind of mark off where that thumb should go, okay? Okay. That's nothing that we talked about, so I'm just pointing that out. So many arcs. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna make this layer light and I'm gonna have you break it down. Okay. Do you know how to do that? You just go right here, boop, click on the end, and then we're gonna open up another layer, boop, and you can make it whatever color you want. Okay. I'll do blue, Ta -da. Okay. So, first question is, is there a perspective on the forearm? Yes, no. Nope. No. It is fa uh, flat facing you, and the palm, no, because it's also flat facing you. So the only thing that you really need to do is make the separation between the thumb and the palm, which is that big fat pad that we have. Mm -hmm. Is the question? There's no perspective from where you're coming from the side of the palm, so you can... This isn't a foreshadowing. Uh, because I feel like it's pushing up against something, like the rest of the arm against it. Is that what you're asking? Yeah. Yeah. Jack. And he's jacked. Like, as soon as I turn my arm, you're going to see that muscle begin to flex. So the arm, the hand is turning, so it's flexing that section of the muscle. Yeah. Okay. Keep it simple. Uh, I would create separation between the thumb and the palm, all right, and then break down the fingers. So okay. I would start with the palm first. Why? Bigger. Start. Go from big, always two. Small. All right. Unless you're a YouTuber. Unless you're a YouTuber. <laughs> I see these like artist YouTubers, they're like, okay, so I start with the eye. There's so, <laughs> there's so many of them. <laughs> there's so many of you them. You know when you see Instagram posts, they're like, just a quick sketch. Yeah. It's like a half render. There's so much such bullshit. Anyway, yeah. we were talking about that yesterday in school. Okay. No, I don't know what to do. Uh, there's a line between the thumb and the palm. Okay. You see that fat pad right there? Yeah. Yeah, you gotta draw that in. Okay. Can you do the fat pad? Like I see Houston does like like with cheeks and things, he'll do like an egg shape. Yeah. Would you do that? There's a thousand different ways to draw it. Just as long as you draw it and indicate it, you're okay. telling your story, that's all I need to know. Okay. I am not gonna give you a rule like you have to draw it this way. Okay. There's rules when it comes to like bones, like draw the bone, you know, it's different than the flesh. Mm -hmm. you know, draw this from the, you have to indicate it, because if you don't indicate it, you don't know what you're drawing. So Delineate the top of the thumb for me. Just show me how you would draw that and then draw through the fingernail. Okay. What does delineate mean? Okay, good. What does delineate mean? Clarify it. Okay. Show me what kind of lines you'd use. Sorry. I it's okay. My vocabulary sometimes. Now show me your fingernail. Okay, how could you make that fingernail better? Uh, by making it like more wrapping around the form yeah exactly so be attentive to that little detail so how could you wrap it like curve it yeah can, can, I, can make yeah. the pen a little bit smaller for yeah, you yeah i think really it's just too big you just want to like curve it in right yeah that's all okay. thank you yeah <laughs> it's short but it's okay <laughs> i don't want to like your shot's already nervous. Leave her alone. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Okay. Hard lines on the surface. Right. Curve around. Now see how that curve is flat? This is where I want you guys to all pay attention to. If you have a flat curve, you have to design your curve, right? So how could you do that? I'm not asking you. I'm asking them. Mm. How could I design that curve better? Which one? The curve on the finger. Okay. Yeah, that one right there. It's not going to show on your drawing, but how could you design it better? Overlap the line. Overlap, ah! Overlap the line. All right, I'm going to overlap my line. Would you put the, the fingernail? I would the push top? that edge, right, and then push that flat 
and then bring it in, okay? So you can kind of create more structure. So I wanna make sure that I'm bringing in those overlaps really, really fine. I don't want them to be too fat because if they're too fat, it's gonna make it seem like the finger is doing something that it's not. Mm. And then you can bring in that curve and bring in that curve. Do you see how I'm like trying to be more intentional with the drawing? Yeah. That's for everybody, not just you. But yeah. Yeah. All right. And we can finish out those fingers. Yeah. Do you know how to move the screen around if you need to? Yeah. Okay. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I know. Drawing on these would help a lot. Mm -hmm. Are these pictures okay? You have like 40 saved out. Great. <laughs> I'll show them to you right now. I actually forgot to show them to you at the beginning of class. They're different ones. These are mine. So I'm gonna have you go through and draw your fingernails on all these, because why are the fingernails important? And then knuckle structure, right? Yeah. You have like a very specific knuckle right here and knuckle right here, so mm -hmm. I wanna see like you delineate those lines. I'm okay. giving you the hard one. So when I say knuckle, what should it be? Um, like straight. straight. Yeah. Straighter, doesn't have to be perfectly straight. Okay. Do you know how to erase? You can, yes. Yeah. So show me, not that knuckle, the one on the top. That's this the one? important one. Yeah, and the other one on the other finger. Okay. Which one? This one? Yeah, just erase top the whole one? line and then redraw it. Show me how you redraw it. Oh my god. It's very demanding, Joe. You don't need to worry about that. Okay. So, this one? There you go. Now how would you pull it around? Uh, there you go. This. Yes, that was a little line right there. That's the one I'm looking for. Oh, okay. Yeah. Terry, you want to do this one? Anybody else want to do this before we end? You want to do one? See, there's many people who wanted to draw. <laughs> uh -huh. And many people who don't want to draw. Yeah, but this is a learning experience, right? Yeah, maybe <laughs> I, I don't want to learn. I can't see where that other finger is. I think you can only see it on the iPad. So yeah. show us where that other finger is. It's like hidden underneath this guy. And then this is his Beautiful. nail. Uh, can zoom out, show everyone. Oops. Yeah. Wow. Good job. <laughs> Good job. All right, who's next? Dun, dun, dun. What hand am I going to have you to? Uh huh. Is it that one? You want to redraw that one and I can show you what I drew? Uh, which one is that one? It's a lot darker on the iPad. Yeah, it looks a lot darker on the iPad. And it's right here. Is that the one that you just drew, Sirshaw? Yeah. Oh, okay. So this is my drawing. Let me show everyone this really quick so you guys can see. Okay. So I think like the understanding the structure of the fingers and the way they're pointing, that's what I want you guys to pay attention to. Okay. Uh, see how I turn the thumb and, and turn it in perspective. It's kind of important to like drawing the fingernail. Okay. So things like that. Um, I'm going to put you on a different drawing gallery. Okay, I'm actually gonna have you guys do a combo. I'm gonna have one person draw one hand and the other person draw the other hand. Nice. Where is this layer? Oh my All right, Casey, you're gonna draw the other hand. Okay. Cool. Let's see if she's gonna help you out or not. Yeah, if she picks the bottom one, you should race. Like she's gonna. You should race. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> she's not even sitting. She doesn't even. She doesn't yeah, even sit. Oh, God. <laughs> 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 all right. Um, this is all recorded. <laughs> 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 I don't like this. <laughs> I don't need to post this. It's recorded. If you guys want me to post it, I can post it. If not, I can send it to you. I always leave these private, by the way, on my YouTube link, so no one else has access to them. Mm -hmm. Good. I can do like this. Um, you gotta talk. You gotta oh, okay. You gotta Sorry. <laughs>
So oh. you can start off with your little swoop. The swoop? Yep. Swoop. Swoop. Should I draw to like here? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And then you can draw out this part. I'm gonna sit down. Ah, uh, the sitting begins. I was gonna say, I mean, do this. Yeah, well, that's great. Okay, then you can like. Why haven't we been Wait. doing this? Yeah. Doing like this? we should have done this with the head. Yeah. Like, what is it? Because uh, like you have to listen now. Yeah. You have to listen. Okay. I will use this in your other class. And yeah. I will incorporate it to the future class. Better, so <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that good. So. And like speaking while you're doing it. Okay, so you talk it while I'm doing it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> and then you can like. Mm -hmm. Alright, would you guys do the same thing she's doing? Sure. So, where is your gesture ending? The gesture of the line? Oh, you're right. I'm so sorry. Where should it end? It should end over here, but over like here, but then you have to. Yeah. So, can I just, make... can I just add on to my gesture? Uh -huh. I'm going to make your photo a little less contrasty. <laughs> I was supposed to. So yes, to. just add on to your gesture. Show us where it would go. Because um, we want to show the full length of the hand. Yes, that's fine. Cool. You don't even need to wrap around technically, but we can wrap it around. Okay. Don't worry about perfect lines. You're just going to keep drawing. <laughs> but it annoys me. Okay. And then... All right, you picked the harder one, so now you got to visualize what's happening with the palm underneath everything. So how would you draw it? Um, well, I would want to draw the underneath to see how I would draw the fingers up there you here. Go. So if I'm looking at how big this is, it'd probably be like mm -hmm. the same. Nice. Good. And you're drawing your perspective line. That's good. And okay, but then it like it's like here, so if the palms are side by side, they're almost gonna be the same shape. So you can use the other palm to kinda guide you. Okay. Yeah. okay so it'd be like something like this maybe. Good. Good. You don't need to draw the palm perspective yet. Don't even worry about that. Let's just okay. get those shapes in. And then so how are you going to group your fingers? Uh, first, I want to put a little ellipses down here so I know what I'm drawing. Cool. If that what works, maybe. Does everyone understand why she put the ellipse there? Uh, Perspective. Perspective. Okay. Yeah, and then. Try not so, to zoom out in as much. Just okay, I'm nice. sorry. <laughs> but you can zoom in. So, okay. So there since these aren't like grouped together, I can't just blob them. Mm -hmm. So I guess I'd go by the bone structure of them and the the bones on top of them. They'd be facing like this, maybe. If it was me, I see three specific groups. What would be the groups that you guys see? What do you see, Tara? Um, well, I kind of see, uh, I see this, and I can see this too. Okay. Or I could just see all three of these yeah. together. Okay. The only what thing is they're the being divided. Thing? And probably these two. I'll tell you, if the fingers are touching, group them. Group them, okay. okay. So. And then what do you want to draw through? This is for everybody. What do you guys want to draw through? The knuckles. Knuckles, yeah. right? So remember that C curve connects all the knuckles, so you can connect the pinky too, it's fine. Okay. So she's completely ignoring the other hand, right? Yeah. yeah. Of course. Because yeah. it's a separate entity. <laughs> okay. And then if we're going, so I can just do this, right? For like, if you want to draw that, for sure. Okay. It helps you out, I would yeah. say, yeah. I'll draw your gestures. I like how you just good. Nice. Okay. I can do that. <laughs> and then don't forget your thumb because the thumb is like an axis. Yeah. Nope. So. Right. And now group. Wait, I need to see how this thumb works. Oh, you can't do that. That's cheating. No. <laughs> well, I have to like see what's going on here. <laughs> so it's like it'd be like this, but I can't see it well. Right. So group your shapes. I pick a different color. Uh, 
Why don't you have a color wheel? I took it off. Yeah. That's so sad. It's just faster. Okay. So then I should start drawing like over everything or? Shapes. What are your shapes? Shapes. Okay. You have three shapes. Um, three. Well. What should she do? You guys want to tell her? Group your fingers. You have okay. one for the pinky. Would the, no. would the would this pinky be going this way or this way? Here. So I would start with the biggest shapes first, if it was me. Or else you're not going to have like a really complete drawing. So okay. you want to start from right here. Okay. I want to group my shapes first, and then I can come in, make sure my pinky follows in line. My thumb is going to be like over here, right? So if I use that C curve, it's going to help to kind of connect all those bones. And then I can draw through. Right? I want to kind of like imagine that all these fingers are still connected oh. and then I can connect those shapes, okay? So Wait. how would you draw those shapes? How would you finish them? Can I... It's like a lot of lines now, okay. It's okay, just stay on the same layer, it's fine. All right. Can, can, I, can I like gesturize it a little? Sure. Okay. I wouldn't get too detailed at this stage, right? Because you're okay. still early in the drawing. So all you want to do is just kind of like get your, get the big shapes in. Hold on, I'm blind. Oh, no, okay. Good, so now you're breaking them apart. I draw them like where they'd be behind? Nope. Okay. I just want to see fingernails. Fingernails. Why do I want to see fingernails? For the ellipses. I want you to like focus on the perspective. Right. <laughs> Good. Notice she's not tracing the fingernails right. She's designing them. So that's what I want you guys to do. Good to see how you know other people would solve these problems as well to kind of like help you guys visualize how to do it in different ways. Should I draw um, like each part sure. of the? Okay. Wrong way. Just the wrong way. Mm -hmm. Why? Oh, because it's going this way. Uh huh. Because <laughs> okay. we're trying to establish the f flat plane. Okay. Here we go. All of them are going to go that way. I'll tell you that right now. Yeah, because yeah. of the shadow, I mm -hmm. see it. What about this one? It's very tapered. Like, it's very subtle. Yeah. It's a little high, but that's fine. Or do these go also that way? Because it looks like they go up here. Yeah, those are going to change. Okay. Yeah. We'll get into that next week. Cool. All right. Good job. Cool. Yeah, that was good. All right, Casey. I think we're only going to have time for you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sir. Yeah, we should have been doing this all semester. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you're getting something from it. That's good. I would throw Matt up here, but Matt's going to hate me for using the iPad. So, <laughs> Come on, sir. Matt, do you know how to use an iPad? No. <laughs> People actually have to learn. <laughs> <laughs> you were born a genius. <laughs> Your iPad is massive. All right. It's already on the right layer. You're good. Oh, okay. Just pick a color if you want. I can't Go see right. anything. Ah, uh, this one. Have you tried the paper screen? I have. Uh -huh. I don't good. like them. No. What? Why not? No, I would not use the orange. Orange on top of orange is not going to work. Um, blue. Just personal preference. I just don't like the way it feels. Okay, so I would do the gesture first. Mm -hmm. like that. You guys are all drawing your gestures from the hands down. I would say don't get in that habit. So okay. fingers down. No, it should be elbow up. Yeah. 
I know it's awkward to draw it that way, but you go from the elbow up to the to the hand. Yeah. Mm, okay. Is the gesture still good? Sure. Keep going. Okay. All right. Uh, this line was already drawn for me, so thank you. <laughs> All right, and then the forearms. So we'll go like that. Good. And then this one goes kind of like that. Good. And then close that. There you go. Yeah. One thing right here. Good. And then um. Why do you want to close that up, that forearm off? Because it's like a thing, you know? It's a thing. It's, it's an item. Yeah. It's in front of the bicep. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. If you don't close it off, it's going to look like it's flat. It's gonna, not going to make sense. Okay. All right. I'm going to do the knuckles right now. It's like right there. And then this shape is right here. Like that. Like that. And then, okay. you know. I will tell you the palm is going to have to go higher. Oh, yeah, you're right. Because the knuckles are right. So what do you need to look for? Yeah, you need to look for those shadows. Like yeah. See that big separation. It's being lazy. It's okay. Hang on, I'm going to erase it. I'm going to make the other drawing invisible really quick. You want to go to that layer? Just do that. All right, there you go. Okay. Now i got to figure out which fingers go to which hand. I think I'm still a little short. You're not sure what you're diagonal. Oh, okay. You just didn't draw it straight, but that's okay. Okay, and um... Make sure you're on the right layer. Am I? Yes. Okay. So All right. I would draw through the fingers. Mm-hmm. Figure out which ones are which. So, just give yourself a little gesture line, like there it is. Mm. Why would you need to do the gesture lines in a drawing like this? For the fingers. So much drawing. There's a lot of complexity, so it helps you delineate where they are. Okay. And then that one's right here. Oops. And then the thumb me is right there. Good. Now I want you to do me a favor. Mm hmm Draw a C curve connecting all the knuckles. Oh. Yes. Now the top ones. Nice. There you go. Why would I have him do that? It's perspective and bony anatomy. Okay. Does everyone start to understand why we do this stuff? Okay. Okay. Um, now... Now what? Perspective. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Perspective uh, or shapes? Shapes. You can't draw perspective until you have shapes. Yeah, you're right. So what fingers can you group together? Can anyone help him? Which fingers can you group together? Uh, One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah. Notice the similarity between one, two, three on the front hand and one, two, three on the back hand. It's just how they kind of connect. And those three fingers always tend to be grouped together when they're in hand positions. Should I draw pinky, through the finger like that? Your pinky and your thumb are kind of loners. They just always want to kind of do their own thing. So just kind of pay attention to that relationship. When you start <laughs> that. Don't draw the individual fingers oh. until you've drawn shapes. So I want to see that first group of shapes finished. Bring it all the way down to the palm. There you go. And that, you would never really want to draw a shape that complicated from the get-go, because it's going to make it really complicated. So I would always start much clearer, right? And much more uh, simple. So what I want to do is go from bone to bone to bone. Everyone mm -hmm. see that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, now the thumb is its own thing. I don't like that. There you go. And the pinky. Now draw through your knuckles and your separations, and you're done. So, um, knuckles and separations, then I'm done. Mm -hmm. So there's one right here. And that line is the wrong spot. This one? Front of the finger, not the middle. Yeah. Draw the front first. There you go. Yeah. Now show us the division between all three fingers. Don't just draw one finger. Um. Nope, divisions. Separate. Separate I'm confused. Them. Yeah, sorry. Separate them. I mean, it's not. Because I'm used to you being up there and I'd be stepping stuff. Separate. What yes. do you mean? Okay. You don't. Okay, all the way good. Down to the palm. All the way down to the palm. Draw all the way through. There you go. Negative space. There you go. Why do you want to create those separations first? Simple. Proportions. Right? Simplifies your spacing between the fingers. Okay? And now you can. 
break apart the tops of the fingers and clarify where your knuckles are when you're done. So you're taking that big shape and just cutting out little pieces in this perspective and just cutting out those forms. And then you're gonna separate out, I would say just the top knuckles, the only one you really gotta worry about, why? Because it's the most clear. Because it's bending away from you. All right. Like that. What time is it? Ashlyn, do we have time if you wanna do one more or are you done? You do. Am I golden? You're good. Let's see. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. All right, Ashlyn. You gotta give her a heart. I've never touched procreate. Really? What do you mean? You've never touched procreate? I think I have. Yeah. She's the industry standard. Okay. I do not. So does don't have an iPad. I I use Photoshop my whole life. Uh, until I got the iPad. All right, so let me move this over for you. I would love to just whip out my iPad and start drawing it. I have to like, sit down, draw on my computer, draw on my tablet. So. Okay, I'm going to give you one that has a lot of perspective in it. It's rude. <laughs> Here you go. It's on a layer already. If you need me, how many questions with the iPad? Just let me know. Okay. I think you might need to have a, it might take you a little bit to get used to the sensitivity of it. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Okay. All right, so what's the first thing what she wants to do? Um, oh, oh, I touched it. That's okay. That looks like Touching it is, that looks like is worse than just putting your hand on it, because okay. it will recognize your hand weight. You, I usually have that little glove on. You don't need to. <laughs> okay, I'm going to do my gesture. What color do I have? Blue. Okay, that's, how do you go back? Uh, there's a little arrow right there. Oh, okay. Oh. Okay. So I'm gonna start at the base, and I'm just gonna. It's not making a mark, Joe. Do I have to? Oh, yeah, like yeah. really? Okay. So I go up like this, just kind of following that. You can actually put pressure on it. Don't worry. Okay. Like a real okay. pencil. Like a real pencil. Yeah. There you go. Oh. Okay. <laughs> and then I'm just kind of gonna start. S Doing this Good. and doing that. So you're starting with the wrist without am, drawing the forearm. Yes. Okay. You just want to find your separation. So that okay. Will allow that. Yes. Then Put some I'll... pressure on the pencil. <laughs> <laughs> just so okay. we can all see. Yeah. True. Oh yeah, I forgot. It's bad up there. Okay. Huh? Oh, you changed the pencil. Oh, no, that pencil sucks. Oh. <laughs> Look at all those. There you go. Oh. Can I start over then? No, you don't need to. It'll just be a lot easier to draw. Mm. Oh, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to have those. And then, yeah, I want to break apart kind of what I'm seeing. So I feel like I'm seeing the side and then I'm seeing the back. Um, so that two by four that Joe was talking about. And then from there, I see that my palm's going up. And then I want to ignore the fingers and just kind of think about what the palm's doing. And so I feel like it's kind of going around. Oh, actually, no, it's not. I'll tell you, in this view, it'd be easier just to draw a straight line. A straight yeah. line? Mm -hmm. Like? Wrong way. What way? How would like you draw? Like that? No. Mm. I would draw from here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but then it's running in. Uh-huh. Oh. But technically, that's where your palm is. Because it's like doing this. It's kind of like curving. Okay. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> if, that's, if you're not comfortable, do it the way you want to do it. We'll see how it works. Okay, I would go through where yeah. I see the knuckles. Okay. And then, then I would want to kind of, that line is a little. Okay, so like that. And then... From there to there, and then at this point, personally, none of the fingers are kind of touching, but these two over here, so we'll make that. There you go. Stay like that. Oh. Don't zoom out. Okay. So we can see. Okay, and then I'm going to bring these down all the way kind of to okay. the base. And then, 
from there these get their own little separations going down so for these hands i would probably have drawn a gesture line just to kind of get those two fingers in oh for these mm -hmm. for all of them no at least the two fingers that are off to the side two fingers that are off to the side got it you could draw one for those two and then another two for the other two, for the mm -hmm. other two. okay just to kind of like help establish your form mm -hmm. okay and then can I clean this up a little bit? Yeah, I like a lot of lines. So I would say, like, if I was going to do this, this is for everybody. Mm -hmm. So what I would want to see mm -hmm. is, like, a line that kind of runs down here. That secret. And then a line that kind of comes through here, okay? Okay. That way you can ground it. And then if I draw through these knuckles, mm -hmm. you're going to see how it's going to connect them. Okay. Okay. Make sense so, to everyone. what do you want me to do on this layer? You can just finish it. Okay, cool. Just keep on drawing your shapes and stuff. Okay. So those shapes are so close to the finger shapes already. All you gotta do is make sure that you start with a tapering shape. And feminine fingers tend to taper a lot more than masculine fingers, so it's really easy just to kind of come to a point. Okay. Masculine fingers are a little bit more bulky and unattractive. <laughs> like men in general. I'm gonna lighten her photo up so we can see your drawing. Yeah. Yeah, I remember I was like, I hate this. Yeah. Sometimes it's like too sensitive to my hand. Oh. Can you still see it if I do that? Yes, that's fine. Okay, there you go. Oh, I kind of forgot about this finger back here. We're almost done. Do you want me to do nails? What do you want me to do? Yeah, nails and, and show me where you would break apart. Oh, the knuckles. The oh. palm, right? The palm? What do you mean break apart? And the two by four of the... Mm. There you go. I feel like since I'm seeing the side of this finger, I need to like, like go like that, cause yeah, like, we're gonna do it next. Week, okay, so okay, don't worry about that. okay. I am going back then. Okay. Um, so put in your fingernails. Oh, hee <laughs> hee. Sorry. And finish your palm. Mm. So with these fingers, I'd actually draw with the cuticle. I wouldn't draw in the opposite direction of the cuticle. Mm. Because her fingers are so thin when they get to the edge. Yeah. You want to kind of like emphasize that edge. Uh, okay. So, yeah. But it would go around? Yes, okay. exactly. Okay. That's kind of hard to see. Why does this finger look so long compared to the other To me, the cuticle really long. I can't it really stops. see where yeah, it stops. Does it stop? Does it stop? Me right there? Yeah, okay, right there. okay. Just pretend that's the only line I made. Yeah, I know it looks easy when I draw it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, and then. Teaching, teaching has taught me a lot. I didn't really want to do it, but it's actually made me a much better artist. Yeah, abstract into the. And it's actually just a, it's a difficult skill in and of itself to talk while you're drawing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You still haven't seen any of your like actual on screen on you. No, you know. Joe, <laughs> Joe has a website. <laughs> it's old, old stuff. <laughs> Everyone thinks I'm depressed and miserable. Is it a show? Disclaimer, it's roadkill. Yeah. So. <laughs> it's oversimplification, but okay. All right, you're done. Get out of here. <laughs> She didn't like. Right. What does oh, she need thanks. to do that she did not do? What did I not do? She needs to close off her palm, right? Mm -hmm. Make sure that you establish that perspective. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is going to be the top of that palm. And the same thing with the wrist. Okay.
Okay, that's what I want to see when we start drawing on Tuesday. Okay. All right. You guys are free to go. Oh.